Okay, now that you're back in Premiere, you should see your folder of clips that you've imported. They're down here in what they call the project bin. That's where anything you import, any kind of media, pictures, music, video, that's where you'll find them. Okay, I'm going to wait for Brian to stop talking. Okay, down here, I need to explain this layout, guys. Down here is where you'll find all your media. Anything you import will be down here. Top left, if you look at that box, it's called the source monitor. It just says source up here. That's where you preview clips. So if I double click one of my clips, I can preview it in this source monitor. Right here. I can scroll through it. I can push play. I can look at my clip through there. Over here on the right, that's called the program monitor. That's where you'll see things that you've put into your movie. Anything that's in your video, you'll see over here. Guys, this is the last warning. If I hear one more person talking while I'm talking, then I'm going to stop showing you how to do it let you turn it in on your own as best as you can and grade it as if I had taught you. Okay? I know the people talking are the people that hold us up and keep us from moving on. Okay? So next person to talk, I'll be done. I'll write on the board what's expected for this assignment and you'll turn it in at the end of class as best as you can and you'll get whatever you get and no redos. Okay? Do you want to learn or do you want to have me hold your hand for every single project? Thank you. Now, I'll start over since half of you weren't listening. Once you've imported your clip, it's time to start editing. This top left window is where you preview the clips. It's called the source monitor. The top right window is where you see everything that's in your video. It's called the program monitor. Okay? This bottom long window right here, this is called your timeline also known as your sequence. You have to create a sequence before you can start editing. Okay? So to create a sequence, you go File, New Sequence. So everybody create a sequence. File, New, Sequence. Or Command N is the shortcut. Now these different settings for sequences are basically different size videos, different quality videos. So you really don't need to worry about which one you select at this point. Just click OK. Now, before you start editing, you need to make sure the sequence settings are the same as your video settings. Here's what I mean by that. If my sequence settings are different than my video settings, like they are right now, my video won't look right. Look over here on the right. This video looks all square. The video I actually shot was widescreen anamorphic. That's because the settings are different. So before you do any editing, grab one of your clips, drag, drag it into your sequence, and let go. It will give you this message that says clip mismatch warning. What that means is your sequence settings are different than your clip, than your video you shot. All you have to do is choose change sequence settings and Premiere will change them for you. That way you don't have to know the ins and outs of settings. I'll show it one more time. Before you do any editing, just take one of your clips and drag it into your sequence and let go. Mine already changed, so it didn't give me the message. Let me make a new sequence so I can show you. Okay. Drag your first clip, doesn't matter what it is, into your timeline. Let go, and it will tell you that the clip and the sequence don't match. So you, ch you say, change sequence settings, and you let go and now it matches. Now you'll notice that the one on the left looks the same as the one on the right. You're now ready to start editing. Everybody make sure you've done that. You need to s s create a new sequence by going to File New Sequence and you need to drag a clip into the sequence so that you can change the sequence settings automatically. It's easier than trying to change them on your own and match them. Everybody go that far. Raise your hand if you need help.
source thing. How do I get it back? Thank you. 